This is ZNS Total Sports. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Kelsey Johnson. Welcome to Sports Thursday. This year's indoor track and field team will leave for Portland in a couple of days competing in the IAAF World Indoor Championships. The B3As recently released the names of this year's squad. Tania Gaither is the sole female to be named to the team so far. The executives of the governing body, including the coaches and managers, have until Monday to add to the list of athletes. Team Bahamas will be led by veteran quarter miler Chris the Fireman Brown interesting because we are basically going to be in there two days prior to, to competition. We should expect a practice time on the track and during that practice time we'd have to try our best to be on time to get our slot in. So right now we, then we'll have to work on synergy someplace else after we, we finish the, the first practice because I think each country will be allowed on the track of a specific amount of time. So we would have to try and make it work or try to work the best possible way to get the team synergized. This year's Carifta Track and Field Championships will be held in Grenada during the Easter holiday weekend. A number of athletes have already qualified for the regional meet. However, the B3As will officially hold the Carifta Trials next week. We are expecting a sizable team. At this time, we have a number of athletes who have already qualified. But as you know, because you've qualified doesn't necessarily mean that you will be on the team. Because in some areas, you may have so many young persons attaining the qualification standards. So that decision will have to be discussed and reviewed by the appropriate body. Junior golfers will hit the greens next week, playing in the Bahamas Golf Federation's Junior Nationals at the Ocean Club Golf Course. The top golfers from this event will be named to the Junior National squad that will compete in Jamaica next month. We have a lot of juniors who are coming to participate from various islands, including Grand Bahama, as well as over um, in Florida. So this year's event is going to be really good. We approximately have about 40 juniors who are scheduled to compete. The number one ranked player in men's college basketball, Buddy Heald, is among the top runners for the Nan Smith Award. The candidates list, which started out with 50 players, was trimmed down to, to 10 yesterday. Heald, a guard playing with the Oklahoma Sooners, is one of two players out front in the midseason list. Heald leads all semifinalists in scoring, averaging 25.3 points per game. The Nan Smith Award is handed out to the top player in college basketball. The four finalists will be named on March 20th, and the winner now on April 3rd. If I don't, I win. I know Denzel. He's, he's two, two leaders for it, and I respect his game, and I love him as a person. So it doesn't matter. No, no, I just, all I'm trying to do is trying to cut down these nets in March. The best of the best players in the New Providence Women's Basketball Association are on the court tonight, playing in the league's annual All-Star Game. The players will put their skills to the test with the skills challenge and three-point shootout preliminaries. The coaches and officials game will follow. We're going to have the cream of the crop at that game. Um, what we've done is we've picked out top ladies from both, um, from basically the five teams, and they're going to compete against each other. That night. You're going to definitely see competition, because most of those ladies, as you would know, um, normally uh, represent the Bahamas at the national level. So um, we're, we're expecting um, a tough game that night. With little to no tournaments in the region for swimmers who play water polo, the Bahamas head coach and trainer decided to carry the squad to the capital of water polo, Hungary. This summer, past summer, I took the Bahamas water polo national team to Hungary, which everybody knows the capital of the water polo world. We spent 11 days in the summer camp with an other club, which is our brother club now. Uh, we have a very good relationship with them and we trained with them, played with them. Every day we trained from uh, 8 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Plus we have culture programs. So we went to the country, we tasted the food, we look at the, the national historic sites, uh, we meet other people. And we went to this Margarita Island, which is the dead center of the Hungarian aquatic sports. And we played a team against a team, played a, against a team and it was fantastic. Well, that's all the time we have for sports. I'm Kelsey Johnson.